It's a video almost every girl has seen on her Instagram or TikTok. A Shein haul video where an influencer will stand and try on five or six different outfits because the clothes are so affordable and you can buy it for under $10. It's a no-brainer. But what Shein's customers don't know is that the company has been violating safety standards for its workers and touting an environmentally unsustainable model for the last few years. Shein is the world's most popular fashion brand with sales reaching $100 billion in 2022. The company, pronounced Shein, became the most Google name in clothing. But like a lot of its fast fashion predecessors, the China-based company has been called out for a lot of questionable business practices, especially when it comes to poor working conditions and the high levels of toxic chemicals found in its clothing. According to a 2022 Synthetics Anonymous 2.0 report, the manufacturer's rapid use of virgin polyester and large consumption of oil churns out the same amount of CO2 as approximately 180 coal-fired power plants. As a result, the company leaves about 6.3 million tonnes of carbon dioxide a year in its trail, a number that falls well below the 45% target to reduce global carbon emissions by 2030 which the UN has said is necessary for fashion companies to implement to help limit global warming. A 2021 investigation into Xi'an by a Canadian broadcasting corporation found elevated levels of lead, phthalates, and other substances with chemicals linked to health problems, including for children and adults. Xi'an did recently address some of these concerns. In October, on the heels of the company coming under fire for fueling wasteful consumption, Xi'an announced it would spend $7.6 million on a partnership with the nonprofit Apparel Impact Institute, which works with manufacturers to set and implement energy efficiency programs. It aims to reduce supply chain emissions by 25% by 2030 through energy efficient projects and a transition to renewable power for manufacturing. The company also says that it has strict product safety standards and regularly tests its products. And yet several documentaries and news reports show that the working conditions in factories that supply Xi'an are dangerous. A huge part of why Xi'an is so popular with young people is that it has a lot of influencers who are touting the fashion brand. And these are all young people who have partnered with Xi'an to not only show off its outfits, but also entice viewers to come and engage with the brand, to attend their pop-up events or their sales online. We're seeing across the board with fashion influencing, almost like a reckoning of sorts with some influencers who have decided to break off the partnership and to address these criticisms that are being leveled at them for working with a brand like Shein. One influencer said sustainable fashion is a privilege. So you're kind of seeing across the board either a disassociation or a head-on acknowledgement of what's happening with fast fashion now. The last year of reporting on Shein and its unsustainable practices has actually seen quite a shift. It's the first time the company's acknowledged that it's been um, practicing bad regulations and working conditions and that it's committed to making a change. I think uh, in order for that to continue, we need to continue having accountability for these companies. We've already seen some commitments being made, whether or not those commitments are seen all the way to the end. Uh, we're yet to find out. As we know from a survey done by BCG, many companies fail to meet these targets that they set in the first place. So despite the fact that the company has committed to lowering its emissions, we may not actually see any results in the next few years. So we just need to be a little bit more aware of what's happening and then decide if we want to continue buying from companies like that.